MOW is known as a research institution. But at a time like this, this is a time of need for the nation. Um, we realize that uh, COVID uh, is really not what we do, uh, but COVID is going to hit Malawi just as it has hit a lot of countries. And we felt that you know, if we could help the Malawi government to provide oxygen in Queen Elizabeth Central Hospital for the treatment of patients uh, with COVID, that would be uh, a, you know, one of the biggest contributions we could make. Oxygen is an important medicine for us. Uh, we consider oxygen medicine. I know many people don't know that. We are a tertiary hospital. We offer specialized services. And now and again, some of our patients will require oxygen because of the condition in which uh, they come in. People who present with severe COVID to hospital have you know, breathing problems. Um, and because of those breathing problems, they cannot get enough oxygen into their system. But if you do give them oxygen, um, a lot of these patients will actually you know, survive. We used to spend between 25 and 30 million kwaja on oxygen per month. Uh, but that still was not enough for all our patients that needed oxygen. Uh, the plant and the piped oxygen uh, comes with uh, huge advantages. Uh, it's like you have a continuous flow of oxygen. The Wellcome Trust was very generous uh, to give us an extraordinary uh, uh, provision grant of 2.15 uh, million pounds. Uh, and it's the bulk of that money that has gone into uh, the oxygen project. Uh, and obviously, um, it's bringing the plant from South Africa, bringing the engineers from South Africa to set up a plant, doing all the uh, uh, remainder of the piping in the hospital, uh, and obviously starting the generation of the oxygen. So it's a huge investment uh, for, for us, uh, but it's also a huge investment uh, for Malawi. Although MOW has worked uh, very closely with government uh, to bring the plant over, we were stuck. Uh, we couldn't get the engineers uh, into Malawi because of the border closures. Um, and uh, we approached uh, Ilovo, who generously uh, offered um, their jet to transport um, uh, engineers from South Africa and back. We have got two air compressors. One is always on standby and one is in use. So the compressors are there to compress our air, to boost it to a pressure of plus or minus seven bars. And then from the air compressors, the air is taken into the air receiver. And then from the air receiver, that's act as a buffer. The air goes through our medical fuel filtration system. And then from the filtration system, we go into the medical air tank and uh, that air has been filtered and is now fit for medical use. And then from the medical air receiver, we split our air. The one supply goes to the hospital for medical air use in the hospital. And the other supply goes to our oxygen concentrator where we generate our oxygen. Uh, so this plant uh, comes with other things. Uh, there is a vacuum section there. The plant also has the ability to fill uh, cylinders which we can share with the facilities that are near to us. We are in Malawi and uh, we felt this is our duty to work with government uh, to address those issues that would you know, improve the health of the people or protect the people uh, from severe COVID infection.